We are inside of a hotel resort that I've been waiting to explore for a long time now. There's usually a caretaker that sits right in front of this, but we found good parking and we were able to get inside of here. I don't see the caretaker anywhere, but we've been walking around this place. There's two cool bars so far, two cool lobbies, and a bunch of other cool stuff hanging out around, and I haven't even been to the rooms yet. This place is still pretty much intact. There's really no vandalism from what I've been able to tell so far, or from what I've been able to see so far. But I've been waiting to get into this place for a little while. So let's check out what it's worth. So the only thing I've been able to find stored in here so far are mattresses and hemp energy drinks. They're all over the place. I've never heard of a hemp energy drink. There you go. The more you know. This is an old theater. All the seats, tables. Obviously, they've been taken out of here, but this is a pretty huge theater right here. The entire lower half of this theater floor is completely flooded and you can actually see mist coming off it from the humidity that's around here today because it is a hot summer day and there's no air conditioning inside this place anymore. But yeah, it's a pretty cool theater even with it all flooded out like that.
There's a dead raccoon right there. This is the most intact, non-graffitied pool area I have ever seen. And it's still filled with water that's got mist up floating at the top of it. And there's a dead raccoon right there too. So, I guess the lifeguard was off duty. I'm standing in a full salon right now. They just left everything here. All this perfectly good stuff. And it is all perfectly good. It's not like the medical equipment that I say people can reuse, which they can. They can definitely reuse it. I don't care if a chair or something like that is out of date or nobody uses it. It could be donated. But this stuff right here, it's just rotting away. It's rusting up. You can see it underneath there. It's just going to waste. This whole salon right here. It's just going to go to waste. It's pretty crazy that this thing is sitting inside of here right now. I didn't know what to expect coming into this place.
full belt. You can tell this place was pretty recently abandoned. Flat screen TVs. A lot of these places don't have them. But this one does. They left all the old room keys here. Just a box of old room keys. I don't see that too often. There's a caretaker. So, as you can pretty much tell, it's nighttime. And uh, it's really dark inside of here, which makes it that much cooler. So, we're going to continue to explore these rooms and see what else they have to offer. Most of them are in pretty good condition. Some of them even look like they've been lived in. Which, um, this is probably one of the more comfortable abandoned places to have picked a spot to live in because it's in very good shape. These rooms are in really good condition. Some of the best condition I've actually seen. The wallpaper is in every room like this and it's in fantastic shape. No humidity has gotten to it, making it peel fall down like we usually see. Even the furniture is pretty good. It's a little dated. It's definitely a little dated. This is back.
this is the most messed up room in this whole section of hotel rooms. And it's because it's on the third floor and this roof has started to leak and everything is starting to cave in and grow black mold. So we are out of this room. found the room that they were saving the linens in and they actually smell clean it actually doesn't smell bad this this room is deodorized at that so but yeah still going to waste though So we just went through all the rooms and they're all pretty much the same. They're all in pretty good condition. There's no vandalism in any of them really, at all. It's only water damage and mold damage after the water damage. So we're gonna get out of here before we fall into something wet with a raccoon in it in the dark. And then I had to drive three hours home. We'll see you guys at the next spot. Peace. Yeah.